The Guardian. A contract with Respire, reprogram to destroy it. Speaking of reprogramming, Mode Shifter. When you lose 10 HP, gain 3 defensive mode and 15 block. When you lose 10 HP, gain 3 defensive mode and 15 block. Cool. Yeah, act Australian. Yes, exactly. Oh, we don't get a bonus. That's cool, though. I kind of just like getting right into the action and maybe going for a snipe. A snipe is possible here. We could get a sparkle snipe. We might even get a two snipe. Let's go for it. Let's look at the cards first. Strike, strike, strike. Defend, defend, defend. Curl up. Gain 10 block. Gain defensive mode. Defensive mode. Gain two block when you play a card. While in defensive mode, you deal three damage to attackers. So like thorns, basically. And when you play a card, you gain two block. That's pretty cool. So I can imagine if you get some zero cost stuff, that could get kind of nutty. Sort of like a rage. Twin slam. Deal four damage two times. Socket. Gems can be placed into the socket at a rest site to combine the gems effect with this card's effect. Ah, so when you have a gem, then it does the socket, whatever gems in that socket effect with this card. Cool. Let's go for this. Let's go for the, uh... Yeah, the defensive mode is really nice with the... The thorn ability going against the heart. But also... Playing cards to go against the beat of the drum. Like, it's almost like made to... Counteract the heart in a way. Place the top two cards with drop out into stasis. A stasis... A card in stasis gains a turn counter equal to its cost plus one. Turn counter is reduced by one at the start of your turn. When the counter reaches zero, it is returned to your hand and becomes zero cost until played. Ha, we were just talking about zero cost, and that's really interesting. So it makes it so that you put two cards into stasis, and then, um, basically gives it two turns until for it to, is it what? Oh, it's cost plus one. Ah, so depending on the cost plus one, and then it goes all the way down to zero, comes to your hand, and you can play zero cost. This sounds interesting. Maybe I'm misinterpreting it. Gains the turn counter equal to its cost plus one. Turn is reduced by one at the start of your turn. Okay, so a three cost card will be end up taking four turns, become zero cost. Interesting. What's the upgraded version here? Three cards. That's just a way to not only. Th so this is interesting because this only this also thins out your deck. So it thins out your deck because cards are in stasis. You're not drawing them in again. So you're going to basically exhaust three cards, but then after the fourth turn or maybe the third turn or second turn. Like, right now, it's pretty good because most cards are one cost, two cost. Mostly one. So, after two turns, I'm going to get all the cards back. I really like this card. What is this? Place a random card from your drop out into stasis. Deal five damage, gain... So, now this is more specific. You can deal five damage, gain five block, but then also pick what you want to put into stasis. Interesting. Deal eight damage. Increase the damage dealt by beam cards by one this combat. I like cards like this. It's like Claw. So it can either make Priming Beam stronger or other Beam cards, which I don't know exist yet. So offensively, this is really good. You know, we, we do like having nice common offense when we're going against the potential elites. But I, I like planning as well, though. It seems really nice. Mm -mm -mm, I like this. We're removing a card as well. Smooth stone. So we're basically going to be playing. And we might even get a snipe here. Deal 10 damage, then place this card into stasis. Tick, draw a card. What is tick? Gem? Okay, I have a gem. Don't know what that is. Revenge protocol? Whoa! Floating orbs. Damn. I'm curious. What was all this stuff? Oh, was, you wanted to upgrade to all these cards? Yeah, sure enough. Temporal Strike, deal 6 damage, deal 6 damage if you have a card in stasis. Deal 8, 8. So this is, this is already uh, 16 card for, 16 damage, 18 damage for 1. Because I, I'm going to have stasis because I have planning. Gain 1 strength. Add a random attack card to your hand. It costs 1 less this combat. Gain 1 strength to 1 artifact. Add a random attack card to your hand. So there's a gem that I have called Ruby. Which um, gives me 1 momentary strength. Right? So, because of the ruby, then Ancient is not only going to give me one strength, but potentially two strength because of the gem. This is also just... Give me a random attack, cause one less combat, plus it gives me a strength in artifact. That's just really strong. This gives me a lot of good stuff. 
Damn, they're all really good. The gem's gone to- okay, so what- you gain energy. They can be placed into sockets. Okay, so oh, they go into cards. So basically, I take this gem and I can put it onto twin slam, so it becomes an energy gain as well. What is this? Tick. This effect is triggered whenever this card's turn counter is reduced while in stasis. Okay, so you put this card into stasis, so it does ten damage, then it gets into stasis, so then it has a two turn counter. So then, as it's going down for the two turns, I'm drawing a card. So this is one cost, ten damage, draw two cards. Then it also has volatile. When it leaves stasis, exhaust it instead of returning to your hand. Okay, so you just basically play it from one, 10 damage, and then it exhausts out of your deck. That's amazing. Plus, it puts a card into stasis, which buffs other cards, we've come to find out. You deal 10 damage, deal 10 damage if you have R in defensive mode. I like Citrine. So, that's just a zero cost thing that gives me energy, but I can also put it onto a card. Now, I'm, I'm worried. That if I put it on the card, do I lose the gem? I should have put curl up first, my bad. So we got Jack of All Trades and we got Defendant in Stasis. Nice. Got this back. Got Hand of Greed, let's go. We're gonna take some damage here, that's fine. Okay, eight. Got fourteen only. I think stasis is super cool, man. So can you only have three stasis at max? Is that is that what I'm seeing? I can get the, the art of, oh it's not upgraded. It stays zero until it's played. We got hand agreed again. Very nice. Okay. Thanks for the follow, guys. Mr. Beauty. That field. Temporary sh temporal shield. Gain five block. Gain five block if you have a card in stasis. This is like a tank. So upgrade this is like 14 block for one. It's not bad. Eh, yeah, but it's situational. Deal 16 damage strength. Affects this card two times. Whoa. And it comes with a socket. So, what if I gem in the ruby, the ruby which gives me momentary strength, does does the ruby apply at the same time as the damage? Meaning, it would buff it, or does it work not work that way? What's up, Creation? Welcome in. Did you get the strength in the card procs, really? Okay, let's try this. Let's try this out. So, place a gem into an open socket. So, let's try putting the ruby... Oh, it's not upgraded. Can I go back? Can I go undo? I hope I don't ruin the mob by doing this. This is not- I didn't want to jump this. Uh... I can't go back. Alright, momentary, uh, we're gonna edit this out. <clears throat> Nothing happened. Actually, we're gonna upgrade the walker claw. I wanna gem that now. Oh, the free action doesn't stay. That's awkward. Like, what? You don't let me upgrade and then do the free action? It has to be first? That's awkward. But I understand it. I understand it. It's fine. Ooh. That's your strategy. When you lose 10 HP, you also gain 10 block and 3 defense. I totally forgot about mode shift, but that's also really good. Taking 10 damage. That's a lot of damage as well. Gain. Wait, where did this come from? Where did this just come from? I'm very confused. Oh, you get a random attack. Obviously. Psh, forgot. That's part of the card. 
That's 20 damage. That's 22 damage. I think it's worth it to do Guardian Whirl. But maybe I, maybe I, I was going to be fine regardless. Okay. At the start of your turn, add an Orb Slam to your hand. Orb Slams are zero cost attack cards which deal damage twice and exhaust. Well, with the fact that we have strength, this dealing damage twice attack cards will probably be beneficial for us. And it adds it at the start of my turn. It's like infinite blades for a shiv that is doing, you know, strength dumping. So it's, it's like basically infinite blades, which is interesting. Place this card into stasis. Tick. So for all the times it's coming out of stasis, so it's going to be one turn tick because it's a zero cost card. You're going to gain 12 block and one strength. And instead of it going back to my hand, it gets exhausted. So it's more strength gain for cards like Twin Strike already, but also Walker Claw and whatever else might come from Ancient Attack. Okay. Gain four block at the end of each turn while in defensive mode. Gain two defensive mode. So this puts you into defensive mode and makes you gain block for those two turns, plus the fact that you might have defensive mode for something else, like uh, curl up. Seems interesting as well. This is a good way to get our block in order. I've been focusing on the damage aspect of things, which I think is kind of good already, especially if I put Ruby into Walker Claw. Then I'm, I think I might just take the... Seems like a very strong block... Gain three. It becomes an eight like infinite blades. This becomes stuck. I can't really see. I guess it gets more block. From what I can tell, it gives me more block. So let's do the enhance with the ruby onto the walk claw. I'm gonna keep the cit citrine. Can you upgrade these uh, gems? I don't want to. No, you cannot. Yes, I know. The floating orb is also very nice. I want all those things. I just kind of want to maybe get my block in order. I'd like to ha keep it balanced because I feel like we have some decent offense right now. And this block's gonna be very nice for the Hexa Ghost. Yo, take care, J-Man. Sleep tight, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. I could do that. It also condenses my deck, right? By doing that, it condenses my deck. Jack of could give me a hand agreed. I should have played that. My bad. Exhaust the first status or curse or draw on each turn. That's cool. That's, 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 that's a nice utility power. Gain five block. Place a card from your discard pile into stasis. Ooh. Ooh, now that gets tricky. So if you do it on cit Citrin, you can get energy multiple times. You could also do it on things like... Walker Claw to be getting your strength attack more often. Although it's going to take a while to get ticked down. I would say this probably works best with zero cost cards because they get out of stasis quicker. You also get momentary dexterity. But I would say picking on the zero cost cards basically means on one turn I... On the next turn, I'm going to guarantee to get the energy again. I'm, I'm going to try this out, actually. For Pulsar, taking curses are probably not too bad, right? But I didn't take that power. I'm going to try this out. Also, I want to get the artifact here, just so that the temporary strength becomes my strength. At least I have some way to scale. Or just slightly. You get happy flower here. Just, yeah, I think, I think it's interesting. So, like, if I were to do place an attack, 
Hmm. I want to try the recover thing that I was just talking about. I want to draw here, though, actually. That's, an, that's, that's awkward. I want to curl up. But we're in defensive mode, so every card we play is... Uh, I get blocked. It's not the end of the world. Let's do this. I want to recover the, this. So that's like a happy flower for sure. Do 10 damage plus an additional 2 damage every turn in this combat. Nice. I want to do planning so that secret weapon can play something, which also gives me more block because of defensive mode. I got incinerate again. And now we have full block. This, this class is really cool, man. So yeah, now we got the guaranteed this, and we can play it again. So we have the energy again. And it's like... Oh, it's the process? I'm just, just kind of curious to see what happens there. So I'm getting energy every turn, pretty much. Seems nice. No, it's just it's just nice to know that, that that's a thing. We have artifact here. I keep getting defensive mode, but there's no point, right? Our damage is very good as well. But basically... We can kind of depend on the fact that we're going to have decent damage. Love it. Alright. Accelerate. Oh, accelerate. Accelerate all cards and stasis twice. So we don't have an infinite, right? But. So you can socket the gem here. And you can socket the energy here. So this becomes draw a card. And this doesn't exhaust, guys. So this becomes an adrenaline that you can keep using. Wait a minute. If I put the citrine in here. Just draw one gain energy. I think there's a way to get infinite in a way if I if okay let's say I do exploit gems plus I have fast forward and I have recover is that like a three card inf infinite three sockets okay so I can I can socket more than one of the same gen like three c citrines right Place this card into stasis tick deal eight damage to a random enemy repeat for each time this tick effect triggered as it triggered Okay, so it's going to be in for three turns, so it's going to be 8 at first, and then it's going to be 8-8 eight, eight again, and it's going to be 8-8-8. Eight, eight, eight. All to random enemy. Seems interesting. So what happens when you put this card into stasis from the this card, from planning? So if it gets to stasis from planning, then it, I don't have to play the cost of the card, and it still does this effect. Yeah, exploit gems with the energy is really nice. I think this is also very interesting as well, but especially since we have planning. So we have planning, we can do planning and accelerate or fast forward. So planning becomes a, a card draw, but also energy reduction. With planning and fast forward, you're getting cards in your hand that cost less. That could be kind of broken. Because if you add another... Planning is a common card, right? So if you add more than one planning, you're, you're guaranteed to find planning at some point before fast forward, and then you just do planning fast forward, and just like drawing one... Drawing three? If, with, if you upgrade it, and they all reduce cost. 
But it, again, the cost may not be one cost to begin with, so some of them take longer than others. Yeah, fast forward, not, this, this doesn't exhaust either though. So this is a zero cost draw card, gain one energy, and then that doesn't exhaust either, which is kind of insane. They're both very good. I want both of these. I'm gonna go for this one. It's adrenaline that doesn't exhaust. Canola gain gold. Ori or Pandora's Box. And since I have a card that has a lot of sockets, I might go do Ori to look for gems, but I'm, I'm using the bathroom real quick. A oh, White Wolf, thanks for two months in a row, man. Welcome back. Okay. So, we should maybe do Ori to find some of these gems. We like Recover a lot, especially with Citrine, but we might be gemming Citrine soon. Deal seven damage, place this card into stasis as a socket. It does damage, and it gets. Into stasis, so it comes back into your hand again, cheaper, and then it has a socket. Okay. Gain two dexterity while in defensive mode. Gain two defensive mode. That's really nice. This is a really good power because we already have a armor protocol, so we have evasive protocol plus that, and we are getting block covered in spades. So our block is pretty much covered, right? This is a gem, so we gain defensive mode. That also goes kind of well with this power, right? So. This gives us dexterity while in defensive mode. So whatever I gem with this, I'm going to be getting two dexterity on a card. Not bad. What's up, Snaven? How you doing, buddy? So you get two dexterity on a card for every card you're playing, basically, for that turn. And then also energy, potentially on exploit gems. I like recovery as well. Momentary, okay. So I think Citrine is going to be a hard one to find. Do you place the next non exhaustion attack or skill you play this turn into stasis. Cool. It's like a temporary top of the deck kind of thing. Deal 10 damage, gain 10 block. It's like dash with a socket. Deal 4 damage, then repeat for each gem in this card. Another artifact. If this is upgraded, this is another artifact. Add a shiv to your hand. Gain six block and two momentary thorns. Gain defensive mode. Recover. So I like the artifacts, right? What is the deck doing right now? So I think I like this power. Getting dexterity. I like Sapphire for that reason as well. This is a way to dump my strength for one. But we didn't take energy here. I mean, I guess suppose we could use Art of War, but also the Citrine as best as we can. The thing about Recover is that Recover allows me to do Citrine every single turn. So I have en energy every single turn. So the more Recovers, the better. And that also means that maybe I, sh I don't want to socket the Citrine. But I instead of doing that, I put Citrine into the Exploit Gems. It's the same reason. It becomes energy every turn with Exploit Gems, but also card draw every turn. So card draw plus energy every turn. So the more often I Recover Exploit Gems, the, the more often we're just every turn playing with 4 energy. And an extra card draw, which is kind of nuts. I like the ability to, to do damage and block. Also like the artifact. I like that it's exhausting. The cards that exhaust are, for me, I would say, more desired. Just because this deck has potential to do better when it's thin. It's another gem. It's another gem. I guess it's a free action, so I, I could take the gem. Should I skip the gem? I'm going to skip the gem here. Okay. L er, a nice shop here. We have a campfire, which we want to do ASAP. And then another shop, and then an elite. I want to do more than one campfire. It sucks that this path only has one campfire. It has an elite, though. So these, these paths are kind of awkward because they only have like two campfires and one elite. If I want to do more campfires, I have to not do an elite, which maybe is, I might have to be forced to. I mean, I guess I can go this path right here. Let's go that path. Armor protocol. Ancient attack. Actually, no, no, no. Let's block. Let's do recover. The recover on the Citrine is so crazy. I mean, I love it. 
Madness. We can make Walker Claw free. So when we when we use Recover and Walker Claw, it's always gonna be. It's always gonna be um <clears throat> zero cost. And always available with recover. So recover means that Walker Claw is playable the next turn immediately. Same thing for this. Recover is really strong, man. And I get inch. I just not upgraded. Place a sentry wave on top of your drop pile. I don't know what that is. Go take care of Vivante. Apply one week to all enemies, draw a card, place a sentry beam on top of your draw pile. Okay. I like that. Let's recover the Walker Claw. And let's recover Exploit Gems. So next turn is awesome. I definitely want to put both of these gems into that Exploit Gems. And then imagine how my deck is then when both of these gems are in that card. Becomes two dexterity and energy. Add a ward, a zero cost block card which exhausts. I guess that makes sense putting ward as well into that exploit gems because wards are block cards and then that exploit gems is going to have two dexterity on it for that turn. So it's going to also be getting even more block out of that. It's going to be an insane block. Maybe not even necessary. Exhaust the first two status or curse cards. I could skip here, but I think this is a strong power. But it's not like I'm drawing to status or curses. But it is a nice way to manage curses or statuses that I might encounter. Gain two stasis slots. Nice. Tiny chests. At the end of your turn, accelerate the rightmost card in stasis with a turn counter of two or more. That's cool. That is cool. But that's not really good for what my deck is trying to do. Deal 9 damage plus an additional 2 damage every turn in this combat. It's also a nice way to kind of get a lot of damage because right now our deck is hoping to do a lot of cycling things. This could help me ensure my damage. Accelerate your rightmost card into stasis until it counter reaches 0. Hmm. Yo, okay Nova, you, you taking out? Whenever you shuffle your discard, gain six block. This is also really good. Like, Abacus is quite strong in my deck. When everything is rolling on all cylinders, we're going to be basically... I would say shuffling your discard quite often. Still probably... For six block, it's not that worth it. We're making block in spades. We'll do tiny chest. And remove a strike. So, uh, how, does, how, do, how does this work again? So, this does not end damage, but then... For every turn that the, the combat has gone on, it does another 2 damage. So like on turn 10, it does 20 more damage. Good night, buddy. What does the what do? The tar this? This one. Ah, you gain 2 status cards. Two stage slots. It's not bad, but it's not... I'm not really utilizing the acceleration with planning. I think we're kind of going for this recover idea, which recover on zero cost cards. They don't last long in the slots. There's another shop coming up. I could save my gold, though. I, mean, I suppose incinerate is not bad, though. No, no I'm going to skip. What, what's, what's derpy? What's derpy? What, what happened? Gain defensive mode. Violence. Speed. Momentum. Happy flower next turn.
Place the next non-exhausting attack or skill you play to start into stasis. Nice. Curl up. We kind of want more damage now though, right? So damage is something I'm kind of looking for. So let's do Walker Claw. Walker Claw doesn't take too long. How, how can we get damage here? I did all this other stuff. We didn't do damage. That's how we get damage. Is there a way that we could, um... That guy is never dying, so we lost some gold. So I think our deck is very defensive. This is just adding a little bit more offense, and then this deck is awesome. Accelerate all cards and stasis, cool. So I think this is a nice way to do damage, right? Because we're always in defensive mode. It's kind of expensive. This at least does 6-6. Six, six. Upgraded to 8-8, uh, eight, eight, plus we're going to have strength already, so it's going to be like 9-9. Nine, nine. Or we're not guaranteed to have strength, but you know, ideally we're going to have strength with the Ancient Artifact thing. So it's going to be 9-9. Nine, nine. Seems okay. Yeah, I should have taken the Incinerate, but... I should have, you're right. I really need to gem these gems into this card so that my deck becomes... A little bit smaller, and I can at least play Walker Claw as often as possible. For that reason, I'm going to go ahead and skip. Removal. I mean, I could start removing defense because I think our deck's going to be, be really good at defending outside of defense because of the. Uh... Now we'll remove another strike. Which this is also really good though. Another exploit gems. Wow. Exploit gems number two seems broken. Because that's the second card of this that I could... I wish I could sell my relic. Oof. It's the second card that I could utilize with recover that is every single turn I'm doing crazy stuff. This is a good way to get damage though. It does damage... Does, uh, gives you two ships that do damage twice. Every single turn. It's supposed to help see my damage, right? So, this gives me block and one strength for one turn, basically. It's not that great. But there's ways to make this happen again. I think cards like reroute makes it go back into stasis, so you can make it tick again. That, that's not really what I want. I think, if anything, this is a way to get damage every turn. Prefer that one. Can't do the carpet. Right now. I could remove another strike. And basically when I remove another strike. When I actually get to a round two of gemming into exploit gems. We are going to be having a very very small cycle deck that operates I would say. Mainly by doing exploit gems every turn. And dumping with walker claw for now. It's kind of lame. I like this. Obviously, we're low on energy because we have to gem in that. Once we gem, the decks are going to get much better. Get a gem here. I do want to get the artifact for this guy's effects, but I also want to try to kill him as well. Which I don't think we can. But for instance, if I do Citrine Recover, and I accelerate that, I can get the energy again this turn. Oh, 
Also do Walk Claw, Recover, Citrine, Accelerate. Yeah, it's not that great. Let's just put the artifact for... Ah, uh, but the artifact's gonna get rid of... No, it's not. So let's recover that. Just so that this has more damage. But I also want this. I kind of want to use all these cards. I want the cards that exhaust to get out of the way. Take care, Altruistic. Deal four. Dude, this, wait, this does four damage twice? This is normally two times two? That card's insane. What? That floating orb power makes my damage so much better. I forgot to mention that the ancient whatever, I forgot what they're called, ancient attacks, they're also adding offense to my deck. Like zero cost offense cards. Which is very powerful. Yeah, our offense is quite nice. Once we gem, we're out of control here. Recover again. So more recovers, the better. Just because... I mean, at some point, we can not can only recover this once. And then once that, we... What was the second thing we were going to recover? I guess we recover... I think we're good with the recovers. We have enough. Place a random card from your draw pile into stasis. Deal 5 damage, game 5 block. This is a good way to just bring out my... Um, on the first turn, to bring out my exploit gems. Let's incinerate again. I know, guys, I know. But I think with the floating orbs, we're okay. I don't actually like the fact that this costs one. Seven, seven. I, I, I like this. It also exhausts itself. Let's gem immediately. And the decks are already immediately better. The deck is immediately better. I got rid of two gems and put it into one single card, which is going to be the, the target for recover. Okay. Kind of want to upgrade it, though. I want to make floating orbs innate. Oh, look at that. So we do this. We recover it. Every single turn we have energy and draw. And defensive mode. It's awesome. Ancient... I want the artifact for this guy's uh, effect. Okay, so we're going to bring back Exploit Gems. So we're just, we just have crap in a block at all times <laughs> and damage. It's kind of broken. Next turn we have, we have uh, Recover the next two turns. To make the deck even smaller, there's ways that, I mean, I think there's a way to do even more. 
So another recovery. It works good on zero cost cards, right? We already have one recovery for the expo gems. You can't like do that twice. So until I get like another zero cost card that I want to exploit, like a second expo gems, we don't really want another one. Yeah, the deck is really thin once you play everything. Because of the um I don't have any more gems, so enhancing this right now doesn't really it's not the not the time. In fact, I want to make this so it's not random. Oh, it's always random, isn't it? Okay. So the next best thing would be get the artifact from this. The artifact's very powerful. Uh, basic protocol here. Beautiful. Artifact for the damn f frail. Deal 6 damage to all enemies X times. Increase the damage dealt by beam cards by 2 this combat. This is cool. So this just keeps increasing itself. So we're going to recover the exploit gems. I can play that for zero and still increase all the cards uh, damage, right? I can play that card for zero without killing the guy in the back. We have one artifact which just got utilized for this guy's. Uh... Or no, I think the move. This is different because it's essentially zero. Dark shackles, huh? It only increases the damage while in stasis? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Is it? Ah, uh, only while it's in stasis. You're right, because that's the tick thing. And the fact that it says 8 is only because it got strength. You're right. For two turns, you cannot lose HP or play attacks. Interesting. So basically, this is for you setting up your skills, whatever, or, or your powers, right? This gives you like, huh? Interesting way of looking at wraith form, or like buffer or something. I Man, I just really like this card, ancient attack. Should be a, a skill that exhausts on a power. No, but the thing is, the ancient tech still adding attacks. I think we already have two. We don't want to add any more attacks. Like, it's still adding a random card, a ra random cards to my deck that I don't necessarily need. It's saying train card. That might have been. I don't remember exactly, but. Can I lose HP or play attacks? Uh, that's good for maybe when you're trying to avoid like lots of damage on this guy right here. We have a very good defensive deck, but you can just use this as like a three-turn buffer or two-turn buffer where you're not killing anything, but you are also not dying. This deck it makes pretty good defense though. We have floating orbs. It's gonna be awkward with floating orbs. I don't know. I'm gonna skip here. Could be making a mistake. Exploit jams now. I mean, exploit jams is very strong. Regardless if it's like initially what I wanted. What is this thing right here? What does the symbol mean? Repulse? Ah, uh, it's repulsor. Cool. Prismatic beam. It's 
Let's put this in the bottom of my deck. Make it zero cost. It's infinite adrenaline. I know, the fact that Explode Gems doesn't exhaust is kind of nuts. You play it, you recover it, you play it again next turn. It's pretty good. Do we have any defensive modes right now? We have five. So now we have six defensive modes. Because this also, this gives me defensive mode every single turn. I'm never running out of defensive mode. So that means... With my power, evasive, every time I'm in defensive mode, I gain extra two blocks per, per card. But I also gain two dexterity from the power. So two dexterity plus two block for every card I play. It's like after image on steroids. I like it, I like it. This got out of hand. If you're a modder, it must not be fun to like... I don't know, maybe, maybe this is what they intended. Nice. Place this card into stasis. When this card would leave stasis, deal 30 damage to all enemies. Nice! It's a bomb that exhausts itself. You can also put it into stasis from um... From other effects like planning or something. Or, or like um exploit what's it called bronze orb you don't have to play its cost all the time not good for the deck i don't think this is scaling as well but this is not bad because we have some strength so this is already getting kind of some value i don't mind this card in fact this upper is a plus i'm gonna need aoe for the next fight coming up collector Ancient attack would be nice to stop this guy's thing. There it is. Got recover for the exploit gem. Nice. You just beat the essential one hard with you hook. Nice, handsome. Congrats. Deal 15 damage, perform the following two times. Interesting. That's awesome. Holy crap. Perform the following two times? Oh, that's nuts. I got rid of Artifact. That's fine. I wanted the strength. Get that out of the deck. Let's make hand of green cheaper so that you know what this means. It means that we can guarantee hand of green is going to be what we're going to use to kill this guy. We want lethal, right? Because you want to get the gold. So it's going to take some time. Let's just defend. Let that come to fruition. Bam. Hand of greed. Momentary thorns. It seems okay. Even more thorns. I don't mind that. It seems not. It's not a bad card. Hmm. I don't think I need it though. I don't need a lot of things. So this is not. It's always random. And this gives me more defensive mode. I'm running out of cards to upgrade. I should probably just take the gem, you're right. So, since I have a free action to put gems, I might as well just put, take a gem and slot it, but I had no sockets left either. I could, I could upgrade, exploit, I do have twin slam for a socket. So I have a card that is not socketed, and I could, I could just put a gem in there for free. So that was kind of a mistake, I think. I can upgrade exploit gems for the next socket that I get, because I might get another citrine from the uh, boss. So I'm just gonna up with that for now. All right, evasive, floating, ancient, bronze orb, 
There's my multi beam. So now it's gonna get ticked up, huh? Which is quite good. It's quite good for this fight in particular. The ca not only do I want the fight get this later on for when their ads are up, but I also want this to be more damage. It's quite probably one of the perfect things to get. So that's gonna be 36. Not bad. Where the hell is our uh, exploit gems? It's coming up. It's taking time. Oh, we're not in defensive mode anymore. Because we don't have the exploit gems, which puts us in defensive mode. Huh. Oh, curl up is also here, too. I could accelerate that. I ne I'm never going to use it otherwise. I want Metamorphosis to be, to be zero cost. That's why I'm recovering it. Because I'd rather play this card at zero cost. There we go. Uh, I didn't have Armor Protocol. That's what I needed. That's what I was missing. I can also just recover the multi beam and keep it ticking up as well. But I mean, I'm sure I love recovering Expo gems at all times. I don't know if I actually want this in my deck, to be honest. I'd rather just have one Metamorphosis than those cards. We're getting this every turn, which is amazing to me. Oh, I didn't realize I was an AoE. Put this into Stasis. That's awesome. So now it doesn't do the damage it puts into Stasis. It's awesome. So we just get so much block, it's ridiculous. Man, the deck's just smooth, smooth sailing. There's another one. Now I put that onto the the exploit gems. There's two energy, one card draw. Every turn. Hopefully. The goal is every, every turn. At the start of your turn, if you have no artifacts, you gain two artifacts and lose energy. Lots of artifacts. When def defensive mode is removed, gain one momentary strength for each turn it was active. Gain two in defensive mode. When defensive was removed, gain one momentary for each turn it was active. That's quite interesting. That's quite interesting, but I think we've... This is, seems subtle, but with the expert gem thing we're doing, this is quite strong for just having energy every single turn. We need to find a way to dump it. If we have multi-beam to dump it, in the least, right? I like this. Also, we can get artifacts... And if we lose energy, it's not as big of a deal since we have the exploit gem, but whatever. Remove a card. If I remove a card, then the deck is doing everything that it's doing, like, but even faster. Let's so remove two cards. I think I'm going to remove two cards. What is what I don't want? One thing I don't want, I would say, is... Talk about trades is kind of awkward. Twin Slam is okay. Planning is, planning is whatever. Might want to remove planning. But it has value at times. What's four out of six moments interesting when your block is broken? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's go for all these events because we have tiny chests. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go for a couple of elites. Let's go for two elites. And we want to hit a shop as well. Wait, so let's hit a shop. I can hope that those events are shops. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six events. Is it okay for me to hope that out of six events, one of them is a shop? Or should I just go for a shop and get a little less events? Get two less events. Mm, let's go for the shop. Exploit gems. Nice. Taking damage here. Unfortunate. Oh, is that one act four too? Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It might have been better to do tiny chest route, right? All right, so we've got our. I'll oh, keep in mind. The... This is not gemmed yet, so we're not we're not fully in the clear yet. This is twenty damage to everybody. And they're attacking for a lot though. Thirty two they're attacking. I just wanna thin out the deck a little bit. I should have played the multi beam, my bad. Keep forgetting. Deal 50 damage to all enemies, a strength effect. What? What? Okay. Pre program. Look at the top four cards we drop out. You may choose. Want to place into stasis. I like this. I don't like how like, I have to keep playing it. Like same same thing with reprogram, but I, I can imagine it gets things going quickly because we want to find exploit gems ASAP. Yo, Sir Loin, thank you for the tier one six months in a row, man. Welcome back. I'll do I'll do I could also skip here, right? This is it's, it's interesting, but I mean, I guess getting the expert gems into stasis ASAP is how we get our combo going. Hmm. It is our bread and butter. So we, 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 we deliberately went to three energy. There it is. Repulsor is great for this fight too. Yeah, recover and explode gems next turn. That's awesome. What's up, Kitho? I'm getting how many? I'm getting two block. So I'm getting four block here. Four. I'll be taking two damage. Hmm. Taking two damage, huh? Evasive protocol needs to happen ASAP. This is another good reason for pre-program to find some of those things, but often comes up kind of late. I think in practice, the pre-program is kind of awkward. More thorns. That's great, man. Eight block and three thorns. Choose a card. Place a card. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Oh my. So I keep the copy of Exploit Gems? That makes my deck insane. The, the one thing I wanted was to clone my Exploit Gems. That is basically saying that's that's a possibility. Let's see if... Hope he doesn't destroy me. Let's just draw first. I might have to let this guy kill himself through Thorns. I 
Uh, I don't want to play it that slow, though. Don't want to play it that slow. Yeah. So let's look for the clone. And we have to find a way to get Explode Gems again next turn. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. We got to hope that he doesn't get the curse. Give me the curse here. So we have the clone, but we don't have the... Uh, the exploit gems. Can I, ch can I choose a card while I was in stasis, or it has to be in my hand? Has, I'm assuming it has to be in my hand. I also put multi beam into stasis, right? The more multi beams I have in stasis, the more I can just scale up without actually attacking this guy. I'm just curious to do exploit gems though. Got the clone, so if we get. Damn, it's so hard to actually find. Obviously, if you stasis, so it just gets ticked for one if you stasis an X cost card. So we want to find recover. Rec there we go. Just want to get these out of my deck, but I might make it so that the guy's gonna attack me for way too much. Unfortunately, we're fine. I mean, yeah, putting that guy, putting that thing into stasis wouldn't be bad. I kind of don't want to take this damage, hope for the best. I could do this at 2. I could do even less, like, I can make it so that it's not as damaging if it... Not too bad. Haven't taken any damage. Setting up the clone and the explode gems is harder than it looks. Also, because things like this are on our deck. Let's go end the fight with this. That's going to tick for more damage than lethal next turn. More recovers. I would say more recovers helps me get this uh, extra joint. Exploit, exploit gem every turn. Hmm. I'll do one more. Toxic egg. Toxic egg is pretty good because the secret technique is something that I can always keep playing. It's gonna be upgraded. I can't afford both, can I? Secret technique is pretty good though. Because we always want to find exploit gems. We also want to find clone. Also put suspension. This is now it's getting too convoluted though. Any return, accelerate the rightmost card with the turn counter of two or more. So we don't really have anything that has high stasis count. Unfortunately. Is Rosanna for the draw stasis card? You mean for pre program? Mm. I'm going to move another card from the deck first off. I think we want to remove Plenty at this point because Plenty has ended up being pretty awkward. If anything, I can keep recovering multi beam and just letting that tick up in skill. Which is kind of a weird way to win. We have Courier? We do. I think I like this.
Zzz. Oh, we're supposed to buy the we're supposed to buy the merchant. Is that what you're supposed to do? Is that what you wanted? Festive. How come I can't fight him? You'll, you'll get out of it, Grimby. I like the weekend. Weekend seems useful. Weekend does seem useful. Nice. Weekend seems useful, right? Can I sell potions? You can sell potions too. Oh crap. I could sell potions. What what would I buy? Can't sell the blessing. Uh -oh. mm. I think the weekend will help me get more mitigation, but do, do you think our mitigation is enough with the powers that we have? Let me read this one more time. Wow. In defensive mode, I gain two dexterity. Okay. What's the upgrade of this? Okay. Sell the rug. I, I tried. I tried. I'm going to skip. The blind wasn't bad, though. Nice. Upgrade. So we want to upgrade secret techniques so we can keep doing it over and over again. I mean, exhausting is also kind of... I split gems is not too energy in. Nice. Exhaustion is also kind of useful as well, though. This helps me find what I need to find. Somehow I always end up doing decks are kind of like uh, gimmicky in some way. Can't help it. And then let me just sell cards, yeah. So we want to do secret technique. Cool. So now we want to recover. Damn it, it's so hard to get the clone on the same turn. Oh, I know how to do it. We do recover on this. Exploit gems. Oh no, because we're going to... Yes, exploit gem. Recover the exploit gem. And now we got clone on it. Finally. We did it. Hyper even just wins the fight though. Jesus. But still, this is... At least we got this done. Recover that. So next turn we have 4 energy. Jesus. It's too much. Oh, we'll end the fight very soon. Because we're going to draw into Hyper Beam. Except the masters. Bam, bam. Plus, it's giving me defensive modes, and then bam. Who needs to add pa attacks when you get attacks for free like that? Gain three def thorns while in defensive mode. Gain three defensive mode. Woo! We get even more thorns while being in defensive mode, and we're almost always in defensive mode. So that's like a good way to just get lots of damage for the heart. Six thorns. I'm doing well, Demastus. 
good against this guy too. A lot of powers we have to play. That's the thing. One, two. That's not bad. Five defensive mode here. Six thorns. More defensive mode. More block. Just pick, put, put that for exploit gem. Let's recover secret technique. No, let's recover that. My bad. Just want to get this out of the deck. See your technique for the exploit gem. Clone it. Oh, man. This guy's screwed. Recover that for next turn. He's screwed. That top of the deck. Let's bring this back. Oh, that's right. So let's do that, 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 that. Bring out both of these. So that we do the whole thing all over again. And let's do this. So caliper should be nuts for me. We didn't know once already. Put get that ticked up. Get that ticked up nice and like it. Twelve times six. Deck has got damage in spades. It's so good to get all my powers out too. Two turns block is not removed at the start of your turn. Whoa! This is like calipers. Isn't this too good? Because this is a skill I can keep playing. It's like barricading a skill. Because it also gives you block and defensive mode. Isn't that just really good? What's the upgrade of that? Three turns? It's like blur, yes. But it's like a little bit better than blur. I mean, it's like blur, three blurs into one. Madness. What if like madness can make me something go infinite? I don't think it can, but yeah, there's no the stasis is is prevents the infinite process. If I had fast forward, so fast forward would mean I can accelerate the process of exploit gem, and with the madness on the fast forward, maybe that that's something. But we don't have that. Madness on... I'm not sure what it could be good for. A lot of my stuff is cheap. I guess for Spheric Shield. It's the only reasonable target. I'm gonna go ahead and just lose XP, HP here. Okay, this guy. We clone now. Oh my god, yes. Getting this right away is amazing. Clone this. Play that, recover that. Next turn, is already, we already started. Five energy turns. Sorry, wait, this is six energy. This is four energy, so we're getting seven energy turns. That's nuts. Let's put, let's put that. So we want. Oh, damn, I forgot about the slots. I should, I should do this stuff, my bad. These powers are quite nice, actually. I can make these powers hit Spheric Shield here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that happen. I wanna make Spheric Shield become a... Three... Beautiful. 
Alright, GG. Fast forward cost zero, it does? Okay. This deck, nothing is like, this has no weakness, this deck. Because now that it has blur, it's like... I should play for defense. You're, you're, you're not wrong. I forgot about my blur for a sec. Now we get this back. Oh my god. Nuts. I do, I do tons of damage. My damage is actually nuts now. This, 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 way, this deck does lots of damage as well. It no longer has a weakness in any, any regard. It does damage in spades with the ancient attack stuff, with the uh, multi games at times, with the, the shivs from the floating orb. Even like I can play Walker Claw pretty reliably. My damage is pretty good. I have lots of damage. I don't know if you've been noticing, but... Okay, what would Madness want to hit? What would Madness want to hit? Gatley Beam? But it, Gatley Beam exhausts itself. This is a kind of a weird... This is kind of a weird thing to have reduced cost, because it its effect is already... Spheric Show would be good for Madness, but... I think for right, I'm just gonna make twin slam free. Oh, is that ethereal? Okay, I thought that, that was ethereal. We still haven't found an exploit gem, so this is like the slowest this deck has ever been. Just keep in mind we get three strength pretty reliably from the ancient attacks and also from the artifacts. Plus the gem from Walker Claw that we we end up doing like lots of damage here and there. We finally get the exploit gem. Bring that back. So we're also about to get the spheric shield. Try to just throw a defect deck. Oh, did I say this is the slowest deck? Did I say that? Oh, stasis, right. Can I, if I could draw my hand, I can do Secret Technique again. If my deck was a little bit smaller, I could... Couldn't I do Exploit Gem, Exploit Gem Infinite? If the deck was small enough? If the deck is small enough, can I do... They draw into themselves, potentially. I don't know how I can get to that point, but... Just kind of realize. Don't know how I can get to that point, though. I need, I need more card draw. More pre-programs. 
Yeah, too many cards that don't exhaust. Like if, if so, I need a lot of the cards that I've added with the powers is not bad, but a lot of these cards don't exhaust themselves. We need we need more card draw. I don't need any of this stuff. This is kind of interesting because with this, I can just get a massive amount of block with Spheric Shield. Yeah, I don't have the status of Exploit Gems. Bottle Lightning on Exploit Gems or Bottle Lightning on Clone. Or Secret Technique because it could be anything. It could be anything with Secret Technique. Because here's the thing. If I do Secret Technique, let's say I have Clone or Exploit Gems, all I got to do is Secret Technique the other one. So that seems like Secret Technique is a better one. Recall. Ooh, got the clone. I'm playing a lot of cards against this guy. A little scary, I must admit. But I'll tell you what. We've got we've got our, our stuff going in already. Combo. That's a spiky protocol. Alright, I gotta be mindful how many cards I play. Spiky. Kinda don't want it's cursed or whatever it's about to do. I, I took the strength by mistake. I was trying to get more cards played so I take less damage, but then I ended up giving myself strength, which is not a bad thing. Keep in mind I also I didn't put the Expo Gems from Move for Cover. It makes my turns a lot worse and I'm not having the energy from that. Maybe I should be putting the the multi beams into status just so that they can scale up. Although spheric guard, spheric shield is amazing. I can play this and then no. Just end turn here, I would say. But I do want to get that next turn. I'm wasting so much, uh, so much damage. I just wasted four cards just to do this. Five cards. I want to play these as well. I don't want to hold on to them. Whoopsies. I, can just, I might as well get the scaling. What's up, buddy? Why well, didn't cost anything there? What was that? Because I got it from Stasis, really? I had no idea what the hell. This, this, this thing's broken. We what? 
Yeah, I just realized that. Where's this? Where's this? Where does it specify that? Wait, where did it specify that, that it becomes free after stasis? I had no idea. Prime detective directive destroy the heart. Okay. I did it early. I guess I was just focused on other things. I didn't realize that. That's awesome. But I should have been doing that more often. Just recover that, scale it, play it for free. Not, but now we know. We have no more gems. We also have upgrades, right? More defensive mode. Um, I'm running out of things. I guess upgrade my powers. When you use a card while in the defensive mode, gain one more block. Well, that's just. I mean, sure. And I also like Vajra. It just makes my beam thing even better. Get up any number of times. That's crazy. Curious to see how much. Like, I want to play around with this and see how big it can get. Another secret technique. Zzz, what, what do you want now, Festive? You want me to sell another? What do you want me to sell, Festive? Fine. What else, Festive? Are we, are we going to remove? I think Jack of all trades should probably go, huh? The more we remove, the, the closer we are actually getting to potentially doing the uh, exploit gems, exploit gems into it, it's into itself. If we have cards in, in stasis, plus we remove this, I think we can actually potentially get infinite. I kind of want to remove Seer Technique as well. I mean, I want to get it, but I don't want to upgrade it. I'm going to remove Jack of All Trades. Although, it could give me, like, that one that one card. What's it called? Dark Shackles. It's too much of a crapshoot. Don't need it. I still some of these potions. Like, I don't care about the poison. Although, yeah, I don't care about the poison. I guess I can take a steroid. Let's do that. It is too dexterity. Yeah, it is. It's, too, it's like footwork. This is too, too footwork right here. But I don't know if I need that anymore. I think the deck is making ample block, especially now that I removed another card. We are... The heart is just going to get destroyed by thorns, and we just have so much block with Shrek's shield. There's really nothing they can do. Mm, I mean, maybe I might not be fast enough for this, this fight coming up. Hmm. I want to drop out just in case I have a bad draw. Let's skip here. Come on, buddy, come here. Face of protocol. Floating orbs. Curl up. Let's bring out spheric shield. I should have. Oh, I'm so stupid. I should have did spheric shield like earlier and then make that become free with the powers. I wasn't thinking. My bad. Come here. I wasn't I wasn't thinking there. That's my bad. Bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna draw here. Oh, there's no burns? Oh, this is ascension that because of ascension zero. Ascension uh, zero whatever. No burns. Should have played more block there. That was my bad. I could have, I could have done that perfect, but I, I played an attack. So how much is this doing? A lot. Let's put, let's put this into stasis. Put 
look at my defensive mode. Just a little... I could get lucky. No, not like this. Bam. 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 Put that into stasis, the multi beam. Because apparently it becomes free. Which is amazing. All right, we took one damage. I wish I could have prevented it. That was my bad. All right. So, yeah, uh, this seems okay in practice, but not for what the deck's doing. You gain more thorns? Don't need any of this, though. Don't really need anything. So, when I play this, I gain two block when I... So, I want to get clone. I want to clone exploit gems. Evasive protocol. We're gonna we're gonna recover. Floating orbs. Spiker protocol. And we're gonna grab something random. Like multi beam. Play our we'll play our powers too. I mean our player potions. Does the spear have more HP? The guy on the right has more HP. In extension twenty. The guy on the left has less HP, but he has, gets a lot of block. So when we're in defensive mode, we're, we're gaining two block per card, right? So this is going to give us block. I should have done Repulsor first, huh? I could maybe hit, make a hit Spheric Shield. I would have got rid of that burn. Do it next time. I could get Speed by here. And Permanent Dexterity. We don't have weaken, that's the one downside here. Shouldn't all these be net positive though? Like every card I play should be net positive? Damn. Damn. Ouch, man. Got my power. Can you stare it? You can get stare too, yeah. Forget what? Must beam after must beam after energy, energy, and then energy beam for free. Come again? Ah, yeah, right. After stasis, you're right. You're 100% right. Forgot again. Yeah, that's a lot of damage I missed. You're right. Like multi beam, right? Is that is that what you're talking about? So like, if, if for instance, if I do exploit gems twice, an extra multi beam, I play it first. I will give it a whirl. So if I if I do this, and this is free, seems fair. So why not just recover it again then? Since we kind of like it, kind of like that damn thing. I meant to do secret ticket recovery to get the, both gems. Oh well, this is fine. Cause we got more blurs where that came from.
So it's going to be Ascension Zero, doesn't it? For a day. GG! It was fun. Oh, they even have their own little art ending. This is awesome. Nice, Michael Mayhem. I, I, I like it. It's nice. Good job on this one, man. I played this and I, I kind of want to like... Oh, I didn't even have all the cards. Place this into stasis. When it's taken down, you get energy and block. Very nice card. Just get eight block and energy. Wow, this is that's amazing. Gain two strength. Tick, gain one strength. This is just three strength gain over time plus two strength immediately. That's inflame. That's inflame plus a little bit of uh, demon form in it. Like that's really good. Deal thirty damage. Tick, increase this card's damage by three. Eh, like I think putting this one. Well, the thing is, it's gonna take for a while. So if you put that into stasis, it's gonna take for four turns. So it's gonna become increased by twelve. So by the time you play this again, it's going to be zero cost, but 42 damage. It's a 42 damage card you're going to play after four turns. And, it, I mean, it's not bad, but unreli I think it's a little slow. It doesn't taste automatically. You're right. So you, you gain two strength. Ah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. You're totally right. You can, you can stasis this and get three strength over time, and then it exhausts itself, or you can play for two strength. But there is a card called Rerouting Whatever. But that's only for skills and attacks. Ah, so this is Rochetal. It's not it's not as strong as I thought it was. My bad. It's either in flame for two, or you can gain three strength over time. I'm sure there's some way to maybe make it stasis and playable, but Yeah, yeah. So in, in, the, right now it's just it's not as strong as I thought it was. And there's a rerouting attack, but I think it doesn't work on that one. There might be a, a card that the next power you play or next thing gets into stasis instead. I haven't found it yet. But yeah, it's cool.